Why were these houses demolished? This is a question asked by a viewer of my previous video about the Eastwells level crossing, which we can see here. He remembers going past the old houses and wondered why they were demolished. He poses a question, were they demolished for the roundabout? The roundabout on the Tamworth Lane side of the level crossing was put in place as a way of easing congestion before the crossing was widened in the early 1960s. So the first clue to the question were the houses demolished for the roundabout is possibly this photograph itself which was in 1974. We can't see the roundabout but it's possible to see over here the yellow box hatching on the road and also the way this road curves round there's a big gap between the actual road and the houses so let's have a look at some maps this is a georeference map showing Tamworth Lane Grove Road and the level crossing in 1952 the houses were numbered 2468 Tamworth Lane and what is of interest is that number two was bigger than the rest. The reason I point this out is that Eric Montague has written about this terrace of houses which were called either Sherbourne Terrace or Sherbourne Cottages. Anyway let's come back to that in a minute. So this is a georeference map which means I can use the overlay to see what the current satellite view is. There's that box junction, and I think that the way the photograph that Eric Montague took in 1974 was looking over here, and that's why we can see this extra piece. So that extra piece and the box junction. So I think this photograph taken in 1974 by Eric Montague shows the houses were still in existence, and the roundabout had already been built. There's a fellow over there, standing at his gate. It looks like the houses were in reasonable condition. So why were they demolished? We haven't answered that question. They weren't demolished because of the roundabout. What other reasons were there? Well, as I say, Eric Montague mentions in his book, Mitchum Histories Series Number 3, Pollard Hill, Commerside East and Lonesome, pages 91 to 92, that the houses were blighted by the M23 extension. This was in a proposal back in the 1960s of extending the M23 from where it currently is, which is basically south of Causeden, and extend it all the way in to an inner ring road around London. Fortunately, that never happened. But I've got a 1971 A to Z which shows the route. So here's Here's Tamworth Lane over here on the right hand side, Eastwards Road, and this dotted line is the M23, the proposed M23. And look at that, it went over the common, over Mitcham Junction, through this bit of land between the railway line and Cedars Avenue. Up Grove Road. Yep, that's why they were blighted. They were earmarked for demolition because of the proposed M23 extension. But it never happened. So why were they demolished? Let's look at some articles. And here is an article from 24th of May 1968, Mitchell News of Mercury. Military confirmed route. M23 go ahead. Part of common will be used for motorway. Bloody cheek. And that's the route that we just saw in that 1971 A to Z. This is June 27th, 1969. Collier's Wood to be the terminal of the M23. Sacrifice to save Streatham. How nice of them. The main London terminal of the M23 motorway will be right in the centre of Collier's Wood, a Merton Council has said this week. Good grief. It 
So Eric Montague continues to say in his book, Although eventually the motorway scheme was abandoned, numbers 2 to 8 as Tamworth Lane had been listed in 1963 for clearance under the Housing Acts and were demolished about 20 years later. Bizarre. So basically because the listing was referring to an Act of Parliament, they had to be done anyway. So this, this chap and all the other people who lived in there had to move out. And between the time of their moving out and it being demolished, they ended up looking like this. So this is the view from the level crossing. That's the side of the, the larger house. And it's got its own porch over the doorway there. And there's the rest of the terrace. And this is the view looking towards the level crossing. So again, we can see this extension of land here for where the road went round and the roundabout was somewhere over there. There are some big cracks in this building and you can see these ties holding the building up. So perhaps it was demolished because of the housing acts but also they were not in a good state. Could be. Anyway, I've not done much research on the M23. I did go to the library once and look at the index cards. A number of newspaper articles of the Mitchum News and Mercury are indexed on index cards in the local study centre at Morden Library. And here's a shot of some of the articles. Under the title motorway, bargain prices for blight free homes. That was the end refers to the Mitchum News and Mercury. 22nd September 1978. M23 scrapped September 78. New idea, cash for blighted homes. Da -da -da -da. Whitehall must pay. Yes, 1980. Anyway, thank you for watching. I think we've answered the question why the houses were demolished. Shame, really. They looked alright, didn't they? What does it look like today? And other houses were built in its place. This is more or less the same view, isn't it? There's that bit of extra land, there's the roundabout. Okay, so that's what it looked like in June 2021. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Press the like button if you, if you did like it. Consider subscribing. And there will be more videos to come. Bye for now.